That's a better one. He's point and shoot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. 2021, wow, I can't believe it's 2021, that's crazy. But uh, of course, we are out here on the river. It's been tough for me lately. Some of the videos look like they're epic, but uh, really it's been a grind out here on the river, and this time of year it can be hit or miss. You might skunk, you might have an epic day of striper and bass, so I don't know what will happen today. We got Aldi behind the camera, just so you know. And uh, he's filming, so maybe he'll have some luck. He's got some pretty big baits over there. Toxic baits, and it's cool looking though. That's a toxic too. Three segments. So we're out here with Aldi. We got Eric and Will too, a couple of friends. And uh, we're just fishing, seeing if we can get on some fish. But uh, first video of 2021 for me. And uh, as always, I thank you guys for coming along and uh, for tuning in, leaving comments, all that fun stuff. So as a small token of my appreciation, do a little giveaway to start. 2021, we will be giving away an Abby Garcia Revo STX right-handed reel. As always, for giveaways, just leave a comment below. A couple days, I'll pick a comment, we'll pin it, we'll get in touch, and I will send this off to you. I know all these chomping at the bit to fish, right? Oh yeah. You're, you're just like holding the camera right now? I just need to move. It's freezing out here. All right, so let's uh, let's shut up. We'll get fishing. We'll see what happens today. Could be epic. Could be nothing, but we don't know until we find out. There must be bait pushing through here at some point. That bird won't leave the bank. He keeps just going up. I keep marking this Dude, go for it, man. Throw it. I think there's some more grass clumps out here, too. I'm seeing some grass clumps on the side imaging. I'll mark it. I, I think I'm marking striker. Let's catch a fish. The folks at home don't know, but this morning I dropped my wheel in the water and I panicked because I didn't want to lose it. And uh, my arm soaked. And it's not fun having a soaking arm in cold weather. Can't imagine taking your whole body and then being so you'd have to have a change of clothes. Oh yeah. That's dude, that's something I need to do. I need to get a spare set of clothes in here. Uh, well, so my brother and I used to fish at the port of Sacramento. Middle of December, freezing out, walking along the bank, and I just stepped right off the cliff. Went completely under the water except for my arm with my phone. We had to trek back soaking wet. My car truck was parked at Taco Bell. I had to get completely naked because I was so cold. I literally drove home with a Taco Bell napkin over my junk. <laughs> it was bad, dude. You, yeah, you have to. You can't sit in wet clothes. You guys cracking them yet? I don't understand how they're not eating anything. Huh. Put on hay rig, jerk bait, swim bait, light bait. Dang. I caught something. Yeah, I caught a Bill Lewis, I think. Crawfish colored, who would have thought in the Delta? Does this count, no skunk? <laughs>
Oh man. Holy crap. I thought it was gonna get my spook for a second. Man, what's up with this bite? Yeah, there he is right there. That dark spot up in the top. I wish there was just like a 10 pound striper sitting here. Dude, it's weird when they stare at you and you oh, yeah. and you make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna catch a fish today. I hope we don't skunk the first trip out. Okay, boys and girls, it's about 11 o'clock and we are officially skunked as of right now. So we're gonna fish this bridge, maybe toss around some finesse and just try to get a bite. You know, we don't want to skunk first trip out on 2021. That's just not good luck. Let's just see if we can get a fish in the boat. Nope. How about you? <sighs> I wish the fish would just like show themselves, like bust or something. It might just be time to head back out and chase some stripes at that. You want to? Yeah, kind of. All right, giving up on this area. On to a new area. What? Not much, you. We've been doing real good. Oh yeah. Been... Calories like a mother. Man, I don't know if I should tie the glider or if I should just go with the A-Rig. I don't want A-Rig off because I just, uh, there's a lot of plant debris. Oh, you're... That's the A-Rig. That picks up everything. Yeah. Is that the... My name is Jeff. Oh, well, that one probably won't work anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a sign I need to change. Not too many. That's a sign though, right? And to be fair, these are good A-Rigs. That's just been like twist and turned about 500 times be a finesse a rig a little glide action that'll be interesting it's so random where they could be out here though you know you think they're just cruising around yeah huh Rocks or fish? <sighs> okay. Come on, man. Finally got one. Oh my goodness. Stay on, baby. Doesn't feel that big. It's gotta be a striper. Yeah, striper. No skunk. If we get it in the boat. If we get it in the boat. Oh yeah, buddy. Okay. Finally. Finally. Caught fish. First fish of 20, 21. <laughs> yeah, for this video upload time at least. He's got a little tongue. A little tongue on him. On the underspin, put a little chartreuse on it and we finally got bit. Maybe that was the key, I don't know. <sighs> Thank you, sir. No skunk, that makes me feel happy. It's 115. It was the first bite all day. Oh my goodness. It's a promising sign though, I will say. It's gotta be, right? I'm experimenting with baits, areas, colors, retrieves, and maybe, just maybe, we got a little something right. Oh, that's a 
bite right there. Dude. Okay, I think we found him. What's up, man? Uh, I'm gonna head up to that north break. Okay. Uh, all the way up to the back side, and then I'll end my day up there somewhere and go up, go back the, the back way. Okay. I got one dink. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like a 16 incher. <laughs> on top water? No, on that Kitek underspin. Well, yeah. no skunk. No skunk. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll meet you up there. All right, sounds good. See Weird how they're not hitting an A-Rig, you know? Oh no, I got, definitely got hit right there. How did I not get it? Dude, I just, wow, another bite, that's crazy. It's weird they're not eating the A-Rig, right? It's like they only want a single bait. That's weird, how did that fish not get that? Come on. Oh no, that was a bite. Oh, I still got him. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. I think it's a keeper. Yeah, it's a keeper. Oh yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <sighs> Alrighty. Man, it's so weird. We, you know, throw in the uh, A-Rig. Nothing. You just think they'd want the A-Rig if they're going to eat a single Kitek underspin. I mean, they both have blades on them, but no love on, on the A-Rig. I don't know why, but this is seemingly outperforming the A-Rig. We keep going with it. Man, happy to have a little striper action in my life. Might actually take him home. say that but you never know they just fight so hard so funny the single little kitek today over the a-rig you know i figured we'd catch him today i mean we didn't bring the net so you know we're gonna get on fish that's a good one that's a nice one right there Come here, son. That's a good one. That's definitely a keeper. Oh, dude, that's a real nice one. It's a real nice one. Come here. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Come here. There we go. There's some good fish tacos. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Hook fell right out too. All right, that's my limit right there. It's legit. Up, boom? What's the limit size? 19 inches? 18. Oh, 18? Okay, sweet. I'm good. I got my limit. Uh, you got your limit? I got two fish, right? Yeah. Yeah, one's uh, probably just at 18, the other one's probably like 21. What? Yeah. But it's weird, they're only hitting single Kitex. Really? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start making more casts. If I catch another one, I'll let you know, though. All right, sounds good. All right, later. What's up, fellas? Yeah, I got three striper. Hell yeah. I think they're both good, I just wanna make sure. I know one's good, but I'm just curious if 
I think he's good, but... Oh, yeah. Those are good. Oh, yeah, he's probably good. Good eater fish. Cool, thank you, thank you. Good eater fish. You need a multi-donkey leash. Look. Oh, man, see, that's the idea. Multi-quip. You just buy the extra pack. So you can call on your clip. If really? You know, cool, you just clip them, clip them, clip them, clip them. You don't have time to photograph. Clip them, clip them, clip them. That's the whole point of it. All right, guys. So don't do them like this. Do them like, like that over there. Yeah. This is impromptu, though. I didn't really know if I'd be keeping them. Ladies and gentlemen. That is going to conclude the fishing trip. <laughs> Out on the river today with some friends. Just to recap, oh my god, it was tough. Covered a ton of water, tried a bunch of different stuff, bunch of different baits, different tides, and it just was not happening. Not a single bite, not a sign of life right at the end. I don't know if it was the tide, the area, the bait, but that's kind of the whole idea when at least I go fishing is just trying different combinations of things until something clicks and then just expanding from there. But right at the end, we finally we got a little bit of something going on. Obviously, it wasn't an epic day, but uh, we did catch a few striper on the underspin with a little kite tech on it. I gotta give a shout out to Rob Matsura. He actually gave me that little underspin, and then we put a little uh, kite tech swim bait on there. But the only bad thing is, uh, it was kind of at the end of the day, so we uh, we basically ran out of time, or else I think we probably could have caught a few more if we had got there a little bit earlier. That is the video for today. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm gonna be giving away that reel, so just leave a comment below and I'll pick one of you guys in a couple of days and I'll send that off to you. But as always, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys are able to get out on the water soon and you guys have an epic 2021 fishing season and I will catch you guys in the next video.